this video we are going to be talking about the mass airflow sensor okay so the mass airflow sensor helps or uh, indicates the amount of air entering into the combustion chamber okay so in the video i am going to show you how you can clean your mass airflow sensor to function fine and rightly so let's go so the tools required to uh, loosen your mass airflow sensor is uh, a simple tool like this you need a screwdriver simple screwdriver only screwdriver is needed for the job and then you can go and purchase any of the available cleaner you have right there you can see that i am using the visa av80 you can show them bring the camera more closer okay you can, you can see that i'm using the av80 to clean and then also we have the carbon choke we have the mass airflow cleaner there are different type of cleaner of them so you can purchase any of them to do this okay so as i said earlier i'm gonna use a simple tools like this screwdriver to do this job so come right with me let's go so right now you can see that this is the mass airflow sensor you can see it's a Toyota mass airflow sensor and um, I'm gonna use the tool which is screwdriver to do this job so we have a screw over here this is a screw here and I already removed the connector so what I'm going to do is to loosen out I'm gonna loosen out the screw then after this I'll head over to the second which is this Okay, so we are good to go. This is the screw over here. Then I'll bring out the mass airflow sensor. So you can see that the mass airflow sensor is dirty. Okay, so I am going to clean. So before you do that, make sure you already put your available cleaner. I'm using the AV80. Okay, you can use the mass airflow cleaner. And also you can use carbon tube any of them to do your cleaning. Okay, so I am going to spray. Make sure that when spraying, you don't touch uh, these areas. Make sure you don't touch. You spray like this. You can see. Make sure uh, when spraying, you don't touch the area to avoid um, bad substance into the massive flow sensor. So after you've uh, sprayed for a while, then you can use any of the available cleaner you have. I'm gonna use this uh, toilet cleaner to clean off the dirt. You can see the dirt that uh, it's very dirty. So uh, if this guy is dirty, it will cause a lot of problem in your car. First, high fuel consumption. Yeah, you may likely uh, face high fuel consumption if this guy over here is dirty so you clean neatly make sure you clean gently also a bad mass airflow sensor would hinder the engine performance yeah you will notice a poor performance in your engine when the mass airflow sensor is bad so um you have to be doing this always regular clean your mass airflow sensor to boost the performance of engine and then the number three I'm going to be talking about is a rough head when a bad mass airflow sensor could cause a rough head yeah if you have a bad mass airflow sensor this guy can cause a rough head um, your engine will just be idling roughly like you won't enjoy the sound of your engine again okay so we are done cleaning and um, it's dried so now we are going to reinstall back to our airflow box so here is how to restore back it's simple easy okay so after you're done cleaning then you bring back and then you place as usual that you lose then pick up the screw guiding it and then Tighten back with your screwdriver. So after you've reinstalled the mass airflow sensor, the next is to connect the wires, which is the connector. That is a 
the boxes inside the car okay so guys in quick summary what i'm trying to tell you is um for you to regular clear your massive flow sensor it's very important like doing that would increase your engine performance um the fuel consumption will be low and then no rough idling like when your engine is running when it's uh, idling you would have a full control of your engine okay see you guys in the next video hope you find it helpful share your opinion comment and subscribe bye